Hey everyone, it's Michelle with Stamp Booker and I am here today to share with you what I made while I was at my Love RTS scrapbook retreat last month in Corsicana, Texas. So I did five layouts, which that doesn't seem like a whole lot, but that's a lot for me. I am not very productive at scrapbook retreats and I do not go to be productive. My goal is to have fun, to get away, and to be with my people. So I had to come home and finish these and I'm really proud of the fact that I did. I have come back with layouts from retreats and never finished them. So this first layout is a photo of my daughter and son-in-law. They are, it's her birthday celebration dinner. And I used some, this is my Coco Vanilla Studio um, Storyteller Kit and, and what I've added to it. So this is actual paper from Coco Vanilla, the rainbows. This is a cut apart, but um, this paper and this paper and also this background paper, which is like a gray wood grain, those are all close to my heart. This is from a sticker book, I believe Maggie Holmes, and I did put the butterflies on some white cardstock. Um, these stickers are from something, <laughs> can't remember. Um, this is from an old, I think, prickly pear. Um, the title is from an embellishment pack. Uh, these are all close to my heart papers, and I think they all work really well. Um, this was a photo I had printed. It's a 4x4, I believe. Let me just make sure. Let's see. Yes, it is. Um, I had it printed through the Persnickety box. Uh, Persnickety Prints has a has an app now where you can get 30 photos 4x4 four four each month. And so um, I, and I, I am actually an affiliate of it because I love it so much. Okay, so anyway, this is this is the um, this is the first layout. Um, I think when I came home, I just had like the three strips of paper, and then maybe I had matted this photo. Now I don't know if I was following a sketch. I really don't remember, unfortunately. But the next layout is this one. And this is using a current collection, a close to my heart, called Flower Shop. I think it's so pretty. Um, and then some these acrylic shapes here are um, part of Flower Shop and the camera. And this again is like a wood grain pennant flag. Um, these are white foam letter stickers from close to my heart um these little hearts are from oh my friend got them at walmart or somewhere and um anyway so everything is close to my heart except for the little pink puffy hearts and all i need to do to finish it is um i'm gonna put some journaling strips down here about how what year it was it was 2015 and we're cousins and then a cousin-in-law it was at a family reunion this one is the one I just finished up last night um, it is all close to my heart every bit of it but it's paper I added into my Coco Vanilla Studio storyteller kit where I added a bunch of papers and then I uh, stamped a bunch of flowers and either fussy cut or I have thin cut dies and the colors I used are peach, canary, bluebell, flamingo, and sage. 
Um, I don't know why it took me so long, and I, I really did kind of throw up flowers. I, I stayed up last night and finished this after Bill and Finley went to bed, and, um, I think I nestled them in pretty well. This, I wish I'd moved up a little bit because I had to add the sticker to kind of connect it. I plan on adding some journaling here, maybe the date there, and this was actually on my birthday, and um, I didn't want to make it a birthday layout because um, it's just like Janet at RTS talks about how um, you can tell more than one story with a photo. And I wanted to tell, talk about this photo of my son and me and my husband on my birthday and how they do make me so happy. So this sticker title and then this is a sticker and it was from... Um, Oh, let's see. It is from... I think it might be from Lovely. I could be wrong. Some of this matches. Um, was it... Happy... Happiness Lives Here. I think it was from Happiness Lives Here. So a lot of papers in here that match my cocoa vanilla. Okay, so anyway, and I don't know if I followed a sketch on this one either. Um, I gutted the back. Okay, this is also paper from my stash that I added to go with cocoa vanilla storyteller. Um, this was Bow Bunny, and I actually have a process video for this. This is bow bunny and then this is chatterbox this is close to my heart and this is close to my heart and i don't know where that came from it was a six by six pad and then the butterflies and the moths are from that same sticker sheet that i used on the other layout um this title is from the coco vanilla foam letter title this is tim holtz and to add some more embellishments, I need to glue that down a little bit more. But to add some more embellishments, I cut um, a heart um, with my stitch heart dies out of just the scrap, but that blue scrap of there. And um, this is from here, and this is from there, just to kind of stretch it. I think it turned out cute, and um, it's a story. That I already documented on another layout, and I talk about that in the video. Here is another layout I started at the retreat, and I just couldn't figure out the clusters when I got home. Um, this is from, this paper collection is Crisp Air, and it was current when I started making this layout, and it is now um, retired. And unavailable unfortunately but I think it's just beautiful I have another layout with these I call them basically quilted squares and um, I have a process video and it's where I basically cut out a big maple leaf on my Cricut and then I backed the negative space with this and I think that, that turned out really cute um, here I added some these are actually um, from a friend, Michelle Short. She and I like switched out supplies. And um, let's see, the flare I believe is from Karen Yeagle at Yes Please Paper Crafts. And then these um, wooden leaves are from, uh, you know how you get the little wooden box of wood veneer at um, Hobby Lobby. That's where that's from. This was fussy cut out of a PML card, which is like Project Life. And um, the, a lot of the pumpkins are fussy cut and some are off the sticker sheet. Um, I can't remember where I got the word stickers. And then this little um, sticker label sticker is from Tim Holtz. So, and then I use the um, crisp air dots to embellish along with a little bit of more wood veneer 
And this is from a really old stamp set from Close to My Heart. Um, I guess so old it had a snap on it, um, but I used this one. I thought it, and, and the little tree. I thought it was cute. Um, I did stamp out a car too, but I, I didn't really like it there, so. Yeah, and then what I've been doing is I've been putting a sticky note in my stamps and just writing a date, the date that I use them. So at the end of the year, I can kind of see like how many how many stamps I actually use because it has so many. Okay, and then the last layout does not have photos, but this is a layout that was a challenge at the retreat. And um, we, I think we each got the same paper and then we could choose like three, um, maybe three die cut embellishments and some uh, Project Life cards. I um, So I added this trim. This is from Close to My Heart. And then I had just bought these puffy stickers and I thought they matched well. And then I just added some um, sequins from my stash that I have in my Noble Dot storage. So, um, anyway, I do have some photos I want to um, put on here. Probably my son eating ice cream. I have come across them. But I wanted, I, I feel like I've waited so long to share these layouts that I wanted to go ahead and show them, share them. And like I said, I believe the only process video I made was with this love this one and this actually is a 30 days of sketches series 10 um, sketch I don't remember what day but it is there and so anyway I appreciate you so I'm by and watching um, I did want to show you one more thing real quick let's see where I can place those okay so, um, I wait, I was been waiting for my close to my heart T square ruler to, um, to arrive in the mail and it is amazing. And I just wanted to show you a few things. It is magnetic. So it comes apart. Um, this is our Versa mat, which I like to build my layouts on. And prior to T, prior to using a T square ruler, I always used, um, let me show you. I always used um, my first mat to line things up to make sure, you know, this was all lined up. I could see, okay, so this is at 10 and a half, and that's at 10 and a half, and just kind of eyeball it. Um, well, anyway, this ruler is great. We have one from previous years. I actually happen to have it right here. Okay, so this is our old one. And it was also 14 inches. And it, um, what was cool about it is it was a stitching ruler. Well, it retired. And so, um, Close My Heart had a lot of requests to bring it back. And they also had requests for a T square ruler. And so, they actually listened to um, our suggestions. And so, what is, so this is one I picked up at Hobby Lobby a few years ago. What the problem is with this is it, it hooks onto my Versamat, but it does not go all the way across the um, layout. So this is 14 inches and not 12. So it's going to go all the way across. And what is cool is that it has the stitching guidelines. So you can do a zigzag, you can do a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch. Um, a lot of options and then also here we have the little um, like plus signs and that is this is two inches wide so this is one inch so you can put it down and um, and it'll show you um, like if you're trying to line something up you could put it like here and then just line it up anyway I don't know if that makes sense but it has a lot of 
extra doodads. And then this is actually on its own a six inch ruler. Is that right? Am I telling you right? I think it's actually, I know this middle part is two inches. So hold on. It's eight inches. But what's cool is that it goes three inches this way and three inches this way. And so, um, so I don't know if you can see that one, two, and three. And here's one, two, and three. So that helps it easier, helps you to more easily um, use it for cards and smaller projects. So, um, also this is really thick acrylic. It's not gonna warp like a lot of the uh, T-square rulers. There is a question about why um, when you add this on here, the lip is actually upside down. If you want to hook it onto your Versamat, um, the ruler is upside down. And the reason they did this, because my heart explained it the other day in a video on YouTube, was that a lot of people are using glass mats and they did not want this. They wanted it level for the the bottom part of the glass mat and this actually still will catch on your layout like this if you want it to even though there's more of a lip this way so anyway i feel it's very versatile it's going to be easier to pack it's not going to get as easily broken as one that doesn't come apart and so I will leave the link below if you are interested in um, checking it out on my website. Let me know if you have any questions and I will catch you with another video soon. Bye.